for the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in Windows Defender Firewall. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on Advanced Settings. And then you want to select Inbound Rules. Then you want to click on New Rule. Then you want to click on Port, and make sure that it's highlighted, and then click on Next. Then you want to make sure that TCP has been selected and specific local ports has been selected. Then we're going to type in 25565 and click on Next. Then you want to click on Next and click on Next again. And then you can just name it as 25565 and click on Finish. Once you do that, now we're going to click on Outbound Rules and we're going to do the same thing. So click on New Rule, Port, Next. Make sure that these two have been selected and then type in 25565 and click on Next again. You want to allow the connection and then click on next, click on next again, and then just type in 25565 space out, and click on finish. For the next step, we're gonna head over to search and type in view network connections, click on it. Once you're on it, you wanna find either Ethernet or Wi-Fi, no matter which one you have, you wanna double click on it, and then click on properties. Then you wanna click on internet protocol version four. And then you wanna make sure that use the following DNS server address has been ticked. For the first line, you wanna make it 1111, and then for the second line, you want to make it 1001 and then click on OK. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as administrator. And then click on Yes. Once you're on it, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and click on Enter. Then we're going to type in NETSH space windsock space reset and click on Enter. It's going to tell you to restart your computer, but do not restart it yet until you complete all the other steps in this video. Then we're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and click on enter. And then you want to run this scan. You can run it in the background as you do the next step in the video. So we're just going to minimize this. Then we're going to head over to search and type in network reset and click on it. Then you want to click on reset now and then click on yes. Now, once you've done that, and then once the system scan has been done, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. 